Going live, going live, going live. You're live. I'm live. Hopefully. Hopefully this, uh, unable to connect the chat. Awesome. Great way to start off a freaking live stream. Thank you so much, internet. You're the best. So great. You're so great. There is someone on here because I could see that there's a person, but unable to connect to chat. Please try again later. Freaking beautiful. So let me try something different here because YouTube is being just dumb as F right now. So I'm going to try and just pull up the actual, come on, Lord in heaven, work for me. Sitting here holding these curved ass boxes. These things do not like the balance, by the way. Because the boxes, the top of the boxes, hopefully you guys are actually just F it, F it all. We're doing it live, F it all. Um, what, what was I saying? The damn tops of the boxes, the Marvel Legends boxes are all curved. So uh, it's hard to balance a large amount of them. Hopefully you guys are actually hearing this, viewing this. I can't see the chat, so I'm gonna try and uh, pull it up a different way right now. But we got, uh, it's fluctuating. I don't know if my freaking connection sucks ass right now. I don't know. I don't know. Just wanted to go, just wanted to freaking unbox the Marvel Legends figures. That's all I wanted to do. Just live unbox some freaking figures. All right. So it says I'm live. Let me turn this down. So there's the chat. Thank you. So now when I look at the chat, you're just going to get a, Weird view. So let me do this. I'm going to move this here. I'm going to move this up here. And how's it going, everyone? Happy whatever freaking today is. Woke up thinking today was Monday. It's actually Tuesday. Three day weekends will do that to you. Hopefully, everyone's doing well. Uh, let me take a look at the chat. <clears throat> According to the chat, the very first person, hold on, let me do the pop out chat. Pop out chat. There we go. Ingenuity. Now I don't have to look at this screen when I look at the chat. So I will just do this over here. Jared thought it was Sunday. Uh, I, I thought it was Monday again. So Jared was the first one to, uh, to say something in the chat. So what's up, Jared? Stuart Fulbrook is here. Christian Arias is here. Big Dog Ramey, David Big Dog Ramey's here. Faceless Honors here. Black Knight 710. Your friendly neighborhood YouTuber, The Venomized Beard, Nick's Figs, Michael Swineford, Daniel Harrison, D559 California. It's game time since he live. Game time, baby. NHL's coming back. Hell yes. For anyone that's a hockey fan, I guess the NBA's coming back too, but they're doing some weird ass play out, playoff format for the NHL. Damn excited for it. They're going to do like a wild card bracket where it's like a best of five series. And then they face the top four teams in each conference. I'm friggin' excited for it. I'm so friggin' excited for it. Beyond excited for it. Uh, where did I leave off? Uh, Narc. The Narkster is in here. What's up, Craig? F it in the A. <laughs> Craig says, F it in the A indeed. Uh, Willie Woodson. I was, I was uh, angry because A... When I was trying to start the stream, the damn chat on stupid YouTube said, unable to connect to chat, please try again later, because I switched the network at the last second, because I, I didn't want to be on the 2G network, I want to be on the 5G network. By the way, I got to make sure that my phone's on, because Mrs. Cincy is out right now, and I think she is going to pick us up dinner, and if she decides not to get Subway, I already asked for, I already put my Subway order in, footlong tuna on toasted wheat bread. I'm going to eat half right, half tonight, half tomorrow for lunch. If she doesn't get Subway, she's going to McAllister's Deli, and I'm going to have to give her a whole new order. So I got to keep the phone, make sure the ringer's on. We uh, tried to get a, uh, a car today, a, a pre-owned car, 2018 car. I, uh, I don't like dealerships that don't work with you on price. It's the weirdest friggin' thing. Um, I, I know CarMax does that, but uh, we tried to get this car, uh, a Kia, from a dealership, and it's just a regular dealership, and they're like, 
oh, we're a no hassle dealership, so we're not able to do anything on the price. What? What? They weren't able to do a damn thing. Not a damn thing. Not even take a dollar off the price of that car. I was like, this is a first for me. I understand CarMax doing it. And I've even had CarMaxes negotiate with me on price, haggle a little bit. They have a little wiggle room. This freaking dealership, zero wiggle room. Blew me away. I had to walk away. I, I, I had to be like, you know, you, you're not able to take, and we're so close on price. We're like a thousand dollars off. I'm going to get to these figures. Trust me. I'm just ranting a little bit. So sorry for the rant. I know everyone in here is probably of driving age. So everyone in here has purchased a car. And when you purchase a car, there's the list price. And then there's what you pay. There's a little bit of negotiating, a little bit of haggling, which I actually enjoy. I don't like paying full price for something, but these dealerships that are like, oh, we're no hassle dealerships. We price things aggressively. What? F that S, F that in the A, freaking ridiculous. So we walked away. We left the table. I'm keeping an eye on the email. If this, if they're, I mean, we're a we're thousand dollars off. What kind of dealership that's wanting to sell a car in a freaking pandemic wouldn't take a grand or offer me a grand more for my trade-in. <sighs> Sorry, I had to get that off my chest because that that recently happened. So had to get off my chest. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, Willie Woodson is here. JJMR322. Let's open some freaking legends. 8-Bit is from Italy. What's up, 8-Bit? Uh, got Cincy Heat. YouTube got Cincy. It's a whole bunch of things. It was the freaking YouTube, the chat not working, the damn car dealership not willing to, because we found a car that we really like. It fits all of our needs. It has all the features that we want. And we're like, we're so freaking close on this. We're not going to have to do much haggling at all. And they're not willing to budge at all. What the frick? Anyway, guys, that's the last I'll talk about that. I know you didn't come here to hear me rant about a freaking car dealership. <sighs> NHL is back. NHL is back. Did you sell your Joes before the move? Wingnut says, no, I still have all my Joes. I've just been trying to find – I just bought some acrylic risers. Uh, I, I've been trying to find a good way to, to pose them, to display them, because they're three and three-quarter inch figures, and I just don't like it when they're all on the same plane and need them to be staggered, like on stairs. And I only have one riser right now that I bought from Toy Department. So I actually bought a package of three risers off of Amazon – uh, got a pretty good deal on it. Hopefully that, that works. And then once I get those, those Joes are going in the case here. I'm, I'm organizing them by year. I got that from Michael Mercy um, because I just love his videos where he shows the Joes per year as they come out. So I got all the 82s out. Basically, the, when the original Joes originally released, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, so on, that's how I have them displayed. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to getting those risers so I can display the rest of them. Um, I have some Marvel Legends here. They're all from the same wave except for one. Uh, the one I'll probably open that one first, but I'll, uh, I'm going to open those. Uh, I just want to get to check out the uh, the Chatsky real quick before I, I move before I move on. Uh, let's see here, and I already missed some comments. I apologize. Uh, and yeah, Michael Mercy shout out. Hell yes, that guy's awesome. I love his channel. I have, the, I have some puck lights coming in Thursday from Amazon, uh, Night of Ren says. Going to be selling off my, all my Marvel Legends soon, all MCU figs, Gannon Fish says. Just bought the 2020 Camaro last week, and I couldn't get them to budge much on price. And that is so weird. You would think these, deal, these dealerships were literally closed for like a month and a half. Why would you not be eager to move your freaking cars? That's the last I'll talk about. <laughs> it got me going. I'm sorry. Uh, what's up? I got Marvel Legends, Age of Apocalypse, Morph, and I got Black Series, Empire Strikes Back, 40th Lando on Sunday. Very nice. Night of Ren. The big boa looks awesome and loves Sergeant Slaughter. Hell yes, Nightwalker. I freaking love that haul. Check out that haul, by the way. I think it went on there this morning, didn't it? Yeah, that was a this morning post. So that squirrel is running right across the power line. I'm like a freaking dog here. I just get distracted by things. I just saw a squirrel running across a power line. To have that kind of balance would be amazing. 
What was your wife singing about? She <laughs> Dante Inferno. So for those that are, are not aware, there was a couple Mrs. Cincy references in the G.I. Joe Hall. So even if you don't like G.I. Joe's, I think it was a pretty entertaining video. So check it out. But Miss, while I had the door closed, Mrs. Cincy was folding laundry. And I think she was singing uh, a song from Greece, the movie Greece. And she was like lengthening out one of the lyrics or something. That I think that's what she was singing. But then I made some uh, some jokes about her later on because one of the figures has blonde hair and a ponytail, and I, I did a little Mrs. Cincy impersonation. Cincy, do you still talk to Mike the Hunter? Uh, I talked to him just through like uh, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, stuff like that. Um, but I'm glad to see him back. I really like his videos. I have successfully kept myself from purchasing any legends, so I don't want to get trapped in that black hole. But all this staying at home is really making me want to order some. SS12 says, uh, I or I got these. I was really excited for this wave. I, I see a lot of people saying, so what I'm talking about is the uh, Age of Apocalypse wave. Uh, I have a bunch of figures from this wave. Check out that video, by the way. I think it was episode 350, Marvel Legends wave from Target. Uh, I'm going to start opening these guys right now. But um, I see a lot of people saying, not interested, I'm passing, uh, which is totally cool. But for me, I'm a huge, huge X-Men fan, and um, I wanted these as soon as I saw them um, because the Age of Apocalypse was a cool storyline. Pretty much if it's X-Men, um, I'm going to be interested in it. So Night of Ren says, I also got an uncanny X-Men. By the way, I'm opening, who is this? Morph first. I have Blink right over there, so he will look great next to her. Oh, I just noticed this. This is the stuff that you don't notice at first. Uh, that's Apocalypse's head inside the packaging there. That's pretty damn cool. I did not even see that to start. But um, I do not have all the figures yet for this. I uh, am missing Dark Beast and Sunfire. Those were sold out already at the Target that I found these at. And um, damn, that is tight. So I'm trying to mess with the Sugar Man ankle just to, because he's got some stubby ass legs. Look at those stubby ass little legs. But his freaking ankle is so tight. I'm going to probably have to take a. Damn it, that is freaking tight. I cannot even budget. Um, I'm going to have to take a hairdryer. Uh, what was I saying? Lost my train of thought there. That is totally a freaking Cyclops buck right there. It's the little things you notice when you unbox figures. This is a Cyclops buck. I mean, you can look at the boots. You can see that by the boots and the gloves, that is completely a, uh, not the uh, Jim Lee Cyclops, but like the um, 80s Cyclops. I would grab it right now, but I have something in front of that case and it has a bunch of stuff on it, so I can't grab it. Do I have another Cyclops to show you nearby? I do not. But take my word for it. This is totally the freaking Cyclops buck right there. But that's Morph. I'm going to try and pence it. Let's see if I can pence this mofo. His son can do it, and I can't freaking do it. Parker Pence can do that, and I can't freaking do it. What the hell? Here's the cape. I'm going to cape him up. And uh, let's see here. Why did the comments stop scrolling? Let's do this. No more reuse bodies. The 80 Cyclops uses the Bucky cat mold. 80 Cyclops was on the Bucky cat body. Um, do the pen, Cincy. 80 Cyclops, okay, the 80 Cyclops was on the Bucky cat body, but that is the 80 Cyclops uh, body right there. If I'm wrong, please let me know, but that, I mean, I can clearly tell right there. All right, so let me get this cape pegged in and then I'll show you this hopefully his face is just like completely whitewashed right now because of the damn lighting pence it pence the mother effer there you go so that's what I got to do I got to cover my freaking face and then it gets penced it's getting penced right now penced from behind <laughs> there you go guys um I'm all over the place right now. There's Morph. There's the Morphster. Uh, Cape reminds me of Mysterio. It does. It does indeed remind me of Mysterio. It's probably a reuse. Uh, Hasbro Kit Bash, LOL. Grail640 says, 
It's got stuff from Cyclops. I'm messing with my morph as well. Great figure. Um, I like it. It's pretty cool. It's pretty simple. It's a pretty simple figure. It's going to look good next to uh, Blink because they were both on the Exiles team. Uh, but it's just a freaking simple-ass figure. It looks okay. I'm going to pinch that some bitch again. i got to cover my damn face. This is so hard to do. Focus. Bam. Bamski. And you can see my dry-ass skin on my hands, too. So there's one figure. Gears Beast 23 Collector, what's up with you? Exiles, yep, I like the cape. Still want a Jim Lee's morph from the cartoon. I don't remember what he looked like from the damn cartoon. Uh, have you given up on Mexico? On the vacation to Mexico, or was that supposed to be Mezco? Yeah, we were supposed to go on vacation to Mexico, so I guess I can answer both questions. Um, we were supposed to go on vacation there, but um, we actually postponed it. So uh, the travel agent that we worked with, Shizzle, um, was able to postpone it to next year. So we're still going there. We're still going to go to that cool resort, um, but it's going to be next year, next year. Uh, but we are taking a little road trip ski this year, Orange Beach, Alabama, Gulf Shores area. So if you've ever been there, let me know. What are some good places to go? What are some good places to eat? Orange Beach, Alabama. I'm going to avoid crowds while I'm there because I saw pictures of people over Memorial Day weekend. Just freaking not social distancing at all. Uh, I'm still being very mindful of that. So uh, I'm going to uh, distance myself from people socially on the beach while we were there. But uh, I like this Wolverine. Freaking like this Wolverine. So, by the way, I opened the Wolverine. There he is. I like that crazy ass '90s hair. Let's see if I can focus. Just being in front of my face. Pence that son of a bitch. Getting pinched. He's so good at that. You know what would probably help is if I got like a uh, like a comic board from like a bag and board. And I put that behind. Orange Beach is awesome. Check out Doc Seafood Co Covert Comics in nearby Foley. It's a cool store. Hell yes. I always try and go to like a comic store or a toy store whenever we, uh, we go on vacation. I think I have a peanut stuck on my teeth. <laughs> Hold on. This will help while I read. I'm going to SDCC if this year is not canceled. I think it got canceled already. This Wolverine is awesome. I got to say, I really like this Wolverine. And he comes with, uh, in the comic book, he come, he gets his uh, hand. He has only one hand. So you could put this on if you want to. Um, oh, okay. So like one of them has the claws. And here, let me try and. Another tight ass pig. Damn it, you're making me want to pick up that Age of Apocalypse Wolverine. I'm not a big fan of the head sculpt. I really like the head sculpt. Um, and what I like about it, I don't think I really saw this on reviews online. The detail on the face is what's really uh, awesome looking. Um, it's got like uh, he, these wrinkles in the face. He's making this like snarling. The teeth, you could see each individual like tooth painted. So there's a lot of detail in this. I'm not even going to freaking try this because it's not cooperating with me. But uh, let's see if I can. Let's see if I can do this. I really want to show you this head sculpt because it looks awesome. See, see the teeth. And that's not even doing this justice. Um, this is really really cool. I like this head sculpt a lot. But um, very very cool figure. Age of Apocalypse. Wolverine. I like it a lot. It is very, very cool. There we go. But um, pretty damn awesome. Gonna adjust the belt here. Washed out image. Tight, that's what she said. <laughs> I sent you a gif of morph. Uh, yeah, SDCC was canceled. But uh, I did hear... Actually, you know what? A lot of the uh, exclusives are already hitting the stores. 
I know the NECA exclusive, uh, was it an SDCC NECA exclusive Pennywise black and white? Um, I think that's already hitting Walmarts. And I think, was that Green Lantern and the uh, Yellow Lantern Predator two-pack by NECA? Wasn't that an SDCC exclusive also? I think that might have been. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but yes. So there you go. Once again, Age of Apocalypse Wolverine. So far, so good. The Morph, kind of a simple looking figure. The Wolverine, very, very awesome. Here's the one that I've been wanting to check out the most because literally it's a, it's a Sugar Man face with a accessory of Jean Grey on the side. <laughs> She's literally just pressed up against the side of this thing. Pretty funny there. So annoying they're releasing those NECA exclusives at retail. Yeah, I wish that they were available uh, on their website because then I would actually have a chance to get them. Uh, they go to retail and um, very, very little chance of actually finding those and buying those. Because if one person finds them at retail, he's going to scoop them all up. So, um, so yeah, hopefully we uh, – maybe NECA will uh, release those on their website. I don't know. We'll see. So this is the Jean, the Jean Grey. I have just terrible lighting in here. Too much natural lighting, but there's the gene. And there's, look at that sugar man face. So I gotta take a look at this. That's awesome. That is very, very awesome right there. Look at that. And the tongue, that's crazy. The teeth. Teeth look great. The tongue looks awesome. The hair looks really, really cool. I really, really like this. This is very cool. Um, they cheaped out on Jean Grey. Uh, Green Lantern Predator was a New York Comic Con exclusive. I picked one up from Walmart. Steve Brunette says, uh, I am looking for that one. I would like to find that one at retail if I can. So there is Jean. Just pressed up against the side there. Let's take a look at her first, because this is technically a Jean Grey figure. The Sugar Man face sculpted is amazing. That Sugar Man face sculpt is amazing. It really is. It's freaking awesome. Let me show that again. Look at that. <laughs> That's so cool. The tongue is what is uh, very, very cool, how it's like bent like that. That's awesome. Love it. Uh, so I see what you're saying about how they cheaped out on Jean Grey. The figure itself is fine. It would be cool if they had included some like, uh, psychic effects because all the other like Jean Grey figures, I'm pretty sure they come with like little effects, um, or at least some other hands. This one just has one pair of hands. So here she is. She's all right. Um, not bad. I just wish she had more hand options um, and the, maybe some like effects, some accessories. I mean, I don't know if they're considering this like just a giant accessory. I mean, that's the build a figure piece, but uh, it would be cool if they had included something with her. The face sculpt is really good on the jean. Let me see if I can show you this. I got to cover my face. Focus, maybe. There we go. Look at that face. That's a damn good face sculpt. So uh, pretty good face sculpt. Hey, Trumanium. Uh, what's up, Josh Pence? I've been Josh Pencing it this whole episode here. Been pencing the frick out of these, uh, these head sculpts. I'll do it again. I think I learned the secret. I got to cover my own face to get it to focus. I still can't even do it. Your son can do it, and I can't do it. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Tech Uncaged. Yep, hardly no accessories for the wave except Dark Beast's extra hands. And that's the one figure that I don't have. I don't have Dark Beast yet. I'm still, I still need that one. Gene looks like Polaris with different hair, Wingnut says. Kind of. I can see that. Um, let's see here. What was I going to say? 
the ice cream man is right around the corner. Um, oh yeah. So I need dark beast. I actually pre-ordered dark beast from uh, big bad. So that one is officially on the way or maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I think it's still in pre-order status, but I at least am assured to get one. If I find one in the, the wild, if I find a dark beast or a sunfire, I'll pick it up and then just cancel the uh, pre-order. But uh, at least I have that insurance of the big bad one. I really like the Wolverine. This is my favorite figure in the wave so far is the Wolverine. It's awesome. All right. So next is Wild Child. And again, I really hope that we get a um, Sabretooth. We need an updated Age of Apocalypse Sabretooth. What's up, Shell ZC? I got Sunfire yesterday. He's freaking gorgeous, Kiwi Collector says. So is the NECA Green Lantern the only set that is being released at retail? <clears throat> I have heard that people are finding the two-pack with the Batman and the Joker alien Xenomorph as well at Walmart, I think. The little warning thing, the little folded up warning thing that keeps falling out. But in here, again, lack of accessories. What's going on? It's a cool wave. I love the wave, but total lack of accessories. No, no extra hands. Kind of cheaped out a little bit. Uh, this appears to be Sugar Man back. He doesn't skip back day. Look at that definition right there. So I'm going to assemble that. And get this wild child out. Why are the X-Men so cool? I freaking love them. I Yeah, I mean, the comic book is what got me hooked. I think a lot of people love X-Men because of the cartoon. That was a very, very popular cartoon for its time. But uh, the comic is what really hooked me. At one point, X-Men was the top-selling comic book for Marvel Comics. Uh, that was before Avengers was really like popular at all, before Iron Man was popular at all. Um, the MCU really made like a lot of those titles and a lot of those characters a lot more popular. Even Captain America wasn't that popular in like the 80s. X-Men was where it was. Uh, everyone friggin' loved X-Men. Uh, that was like their top selling comic book. But here is Wild Child. I got to figure out the best way to put this like uh, chain leash thing. But here is Wild Child. Here's the head sculpt. I love the head sculpt. Very cool paint. Good articulation. I like the big feet. It'll be easy to uh, balance him. Again, no extra hands, which kind of sucks. It would have been cool to get some extra hands. Butterfly joints on Wild Child. It's a butterfly joints there. Kind of tight. But uh, let's see, does Wolverine have butterfly joints? No butterfly joints on Wolverine. No butterfly joints on Gene. And I can't tell on Morph. No butterfly joints on Morph. So, so far, I haven't opened up X-Man yet. I'm assuming Dark Beast has butterfly joints. Take care, Faceless Honor. Thanks for joining. Um, don't forget to add Blink to the AOA shelf. Hell yes. I'm excited to do that. And I also pre-ordered the Apocalypse, uh, the one that they revealed. Was it last Friday? I pre-ordered the uh, Age of Apocalypse Apocalypse figure, and I pre-ordered the uh, War Machine. Those are the only two that I pre-ordered. Uh, I'm thinking about which ones I want to pre-order from the Spider-Man wave. I definitely want to pick up a few of those. I might wait for retail on those, but I did not want to uh, mess around with uh, Apocalypse because I think that looks amazing. And I also didn't want to mess around with, um, what's his ass? Rhodey. War Machine. What's up, Arthur F.? Haven't seen you in a minute, Cincy. Thanks for coming back, Arthur F. I appreciate it. War Machine looks sick. You know what got me sold on that uh, War Machine, Shelzy, is the damn accessories. We're talking about accessories here and the lack thereof with this wave. The um, accessories, uh, the little missile accessories, how it's like, it looks almost like a Sidewinder missile, and then the blast effects from the feet, which act as like a base. Those accessories is what sold me on that figure. The figure itself looks great. That War Machine looks great. But those accessories, holy crap. That's what kind of uh, made me want to get it. Josh says, what is your chase figure at the moment? Uh, for Legends um, or for just overall? There's a ton of figures that I'm looking for right now. Just odds and ends. 
Like I could go cabinet by cabinet and tell you like figures that I really want. For Legends, it's probably Strife uh, from that Toys R Us X-Men wave that came out and got really high in price. Um, I stupidly passed on Strife at a C2E2 when it was $30. I now, now I know it's a lot more expensive, but I really want a Strife figure. Um, let's see, who else? Um, I don't know, Legends-wise. I really want that Strife. Um, I'm just trying to think of X-Men or other figures that I need right now. A Blob. I would love to have a Blob. And a Sauron. I had a Sauron. Uh, I, I ended up trading or selling the Sauron, and then I missed that figure. So I'd love to have that as part of my X-Men villains shelf. Sauron, Blob, Strife. So all bad guys. Um, and then, of course, the two from this wave that I don't have. Dark Beast and uh, Sunfire. But there you go again. There's Wild Child. And I'm just going to go through, if you're joining a little bit late, here is the Wolverine. Which, this is still my favorite figure in this wave. Wild Child. I'm probably going to rank these at the end of this video. I just want to show all to you right now. But I'm going to rank the ones that I have. I don't have Dark Beast and Sunfire yet, but there's Jean Grey. I really like the face sculpt on Jean. Let's see if I can focus it. Look at that face sculpt. Love it. And then uh, here's Morph. Right there. All right. So we got uh, one more to open in this wave. And then we got uh, the only one from the only Marvel Legends figure not from this wave that I'm going to uh, open. But uh, this is X Man. And then. Um, if you guys watched my recent live stream where I showed the Guardians of the Galaxy Star-Lord helmet, someone pointed out to me that it has an additional function other than just lighting up, and it kind of blew my mind when I figured it out. So I'm going to try and actually get that to work uh, on here and show you that additional functionality. If you have the helmet, then you know what it is. But um, I was like, I didn't freaking know it did that. And uh, I forgot who it was. I apologize. I don't remember who it was that pointed it out. But he said he read the box and he was surprised too. So um, both of us didn't even know about it. All right. Let me move some of this stuff around so I can look at the comments. Is, is it the Bluetooth connection? It is Arthur F. It is indeed. Spoiler alert. This helmet is a giant Bluetooth speaker. And it's freaking awesome. And I would play one of the numerous songs from the Guardians of the Galaxy soundtrack because I have all those songs on my phone. But I don't want this damn uh, video to get blocked by YouTube because the copyright the copyright bots are working in full freaking effect right now. I was uh, I streamed a uh, NHL 20 game, and during the little loadout screens, there's music playing, and. Um, I got hit with, after my most recent NHL 20 stream, I got hit with four copyright claims. Freaking ridiculous. That uh, the song literally only played for like five seconds. We used to be able to get on YouTube 25 seconds of a song, and they didn't give a frick. But now you, you play like a sound bite, like a single bite, just like, and it'll wait. Oh, no, that's our song. Copyright claim four. Four copyright claims on one streamed NHL video. Ridiculous. Again, no additional accessories for X-Man. This is the figure that I was most excited about besides Dark Beast. Josh says I get about 10 claims every live stream. That's, it's ridiculous how, like... I understand that, like, if you're a creator of music and you, you made a song and someone is, like, deliberately ripping you off, I understand where you would want, like, your piece of the pie. But, dude, like, I've gotten copyright claims because I walked into a store and the freaking overhead music was playing. Like, you go into a Hot Topic, forget about filming with audio. 
That's why you have to do like the whole music over. You have to like voice it over and stuff because you will get copyright claimed like a mofo. And it's not just like, oh no, they're gonna demonetize the video. I don't care about that. They'll block the video. So in some cases, like I filmed like, it was like a vlog style video where I was on vacation and um, like my kids and I were out like uh, at a store or something and the video got taken down and blocked because it had like 10 seconds of some stupid song in it. So I don't want my videos to be blocked because then that memory is gone from history. And uh, I kind of use YouTube in addition to being able to use it as an outlet to talk about these things, these things that I love to collect and you guys love to collect. Also, you use it as like a uh, kind of a way to remember my life um, and remember like cool stuff that happened and that I did and places I went. So I don't want those memories removed. Uh, Edge Retro Geek Out. What's up, man? How's it going? I've had fill-in gigs with other bands where I use their music and ask permission, but Dis distro kids still took it down because they have the rights on inning, inning the money. No copyright on who let the dogs out. <laughs> Dante Inferno says, um, I'm going to change that to my opening theme then. Who let the dogs out? <laughs> I love the X-Man character and I'm so pumped for this figure. Me too. Um, wasn't X-Man a Summer's brother? No, I he was Nate Gray. So he was... Um, in this dimension, in this reality, he was basically like Cable. He was, um, uh, what's that? Scott Summers and Gene Cray's son, Sunski. I'm going to try and uh, get you some. There's too much light in here, but I like the translucent effect on his eye. That's really, really cool. You can't really see it very well right now, though. But a uh, very, very cool looking figure. Again, this was the figure that I was most excited for in this wave, and it still is. Uh, I got to say, though, I, this Wolverine really, really impressed me. I'm, I was be, I mean, I have a lot of Wolverine Marvel Legends figures in my case, in my collection. And I was like, cool, another Wolverine. But this one, I don't know. This one really sticks out to me. Um, but there you go. There's X-Man. Again, no additional accessories. He just has the Sugar Man parts, which were the big-ass arms. Uh, look at how big these arms are. Long arms there. Uh, but yeah, I do. I agree, Jared. I love the look of X-Man. I think he's awesome. I actually um, recently purchased a bunch of comics from the mid-90s, the X-Man comic book. Um, trying to catch up uh, and kind of refresh my memory on Age of Apocalypse and all those titles that kind of spun out of it. But uh, I think X-Man uh, is, he might still be in the 616. I think he made the jump over. Um, there was a few characters from this, uh, this series, because this took place in a different dimension. Um, but there was a few characters that made the jump over to the regular 616 once everything went back to normal. Wild Child is currently in the 616. X-Man, I believe, is as well. And then Dark Beast definitely is. Dark Beast was a big villain in... Um, in the 616 once uh once everything went back to normal but um yeah the x-men figure <laughs> all right sal do you have uh do you still have the ray pop from your first video the ray pop i don't remember what i have from the first video um i cycle my collection out so if i find something that i really like and i buy it uh if down the road there's something else that i want to buy and i uh when I acquire the funds for it, I, I, I sell things or trade things off that I'm not really in love with anymore. Um, but there is some stuff in here that I've had for a long, long time. I still have the first hot toy that I ever purchased from Sideshow, the Captain America from uh, the first Avengers movie. But I don't know if I, I don't think I have that Ray. Uh, let's see. I love X-Men X -Miss story. He was created by Mr. Sin. Oh, X-Man story. He was created by Mr. Sinister. I cannot wait for... The complete Sugar Man bath. Kiwi Collector says, um, I need a Tiger Stripe Wolverine Legends figure. From Knight of Ren says. Um, so let's see here. All right. So let me go ahead and rank these figures. Actually, you know what? I got to I gotta open this guy up. Bam. Stan Lee. I'm not sure if you guys were able to pick up this figure yet. I'm really excited for it. 
Uh, they've done a Stanley figure once before. It, um, I think it came with, uh, it was like tied to Spider-Man, I think. It came with like a Peter Parker head sculpt or a Spider-Man head sculpt, something like that. Um, but I never got that one. So I'm really excited for this one right here. So there is Stan the Man. Looking awesome. Let me take him out real quick. <clears throat> uh, Night of Rent says there's an Age of Apocalypse Sabertooth from Toy Biz on Amazon for $23.96. So there you go, guys. If you if you uh, want to pick that one up, um, I'm going to wait for the inevitable Hasbro version because I know they're going to do a version. They're going to do a lot of the rest of the characters of uh, Age of Apocalypse. They've got to. All right, so he's out of package. And this looks so freaking cool. That looks awesome. Look at that. Love that smile, Stan. I love it. That's so freaking awesome. Badass. That is so cool. He comes with uh, the Captain America shield, and it has the little Stan Lee facsimile signature on it. Very, very cool. This is so cool. I really like this figure. Um, that's such a great head sculpt, too. Basically, he just has uh, you know pants, jacket, button-down shirt on, but that head sculpt, man, let me show you that again. That head sculpt. Look at that. That is such a great head sculpt. I have the uh, Hot Toys um, Stan Lee from the, Guard the Guardians 2 uh, post credit scene where he's in the astronaut's outfit. And, uh, I mean, this head sculpt right here is right up there with that one. Obviously, it's Hot Toys. It has a lot more detail and paint and whatnot. But this head sculpt, I mean, that is a damn, damn good head sculpt. One more time. That's how much I like it. That's freaking awesome. Love it. A plus. A plus on this figure. Uh, Bear Clemens, I agree. I would love a Jack Kirby figure. I would love it if they did figures of some of their like uh, well-known creators. Um, but a lot of those guys moved on to like independent books or jumped ship to like DC. So I don't know which ones they would actually do. I would assume like John Byrne maybe. Um, but I, I, a lot of those guys, I don't know if, people would recognize them. Like to me, like I would love a, a Todd McFarlane figure, a Jim Lee figure, Mark Silvestri figure, Alan Davis figure, Arthur Adams figure. But like, if you're not a hardcore comic book collector, you, you might not know most of those guys. I'm sure you know uh, McFarlane. Chris Claremont figure would be awesome. Knight of Ren, absolutely crazy. Frank Miller, <laughs> that would be funny. Uh, we'll love a new X-Men wave, the Grant Morrison run. Uh, Iron Manual says, Hasbro is getting pretty good with their head sculpts lately. They really are across the board, not just with Marvel Legends, with Black Series, with the Power Rangers line, everything. Even like not just head sculpts, but like the detail that they're putting in the paint and the detail. Studio Series, that freaking Sentinel Prime Studio Series figure, the Transformers, that thing is top notch. Absolutely top notch. So, I mean, I can't really think, even the vintage collection figures, the three and three quarter inch vintage collection figures, they're doing amazing things with those face sculpts. Um, Hasbro's just killing it. I can't think of a line that Hasbro is making right now that just isn't top notch. So what even is this? Is this a, oh, is this like a checkers board or chess board? This is a little... Accessory, I think that's a checkers or chessboard that Stan the Man comes with in addition to the shield. But uh, one more time, just one more time, just because I really, really like this. I really, really like this face sculpt. They did such a great job. Look at that. They did such a great job with that. Fantastic job. Um, I'm going to rank these um, Age of Apocalypse figures from the ones that I like the least to the one I like the most. And these are, again, just the ones that I have. I don't have Sunfire. I don't have Dark Beast. I have a feeling those would rank high because they look very, very cool. Chessboard from the end of Avengers 1 in the park. There you go. Thank you, Knight of Ren. 
Uh, Josh says Black Series looking spooky good, pulling me back in. There you go, Josh. Uh, a lot of good ones out right now. A lot of good ones that you could still get for uh, retail. Some really, really good ones that are coming out soon. Uh, let's see here. McFarland should make a multi-pack of all the image founders. That would be freaking amazing. That would be so awesome. <laughs> JJMR322 says, since he's top 10, but not really. All right, so let's start here. I got one, two, three, four, five of the, is it seven figures in this wave? I got five of the, yeah, there's seven figures in the wave. I have five of them, and I'm going to tell you which ones are my favorite, starting with the least favorite, and the least favorite is Morph. Just because I think it's just a really simple looking figure. And to be honest with you, as soon as I took it out of package, as soon as I took it out of package, I just saw the Cyclops body, the gloves and the boots. And I was like, that is freaking Cyclops. Uh, and again, I know it's on the Bucky Cat mold, but um, that's that's all I saw. As soon as I got out of the, the, the freaking box, I was like, that looks like Cyclops to me. It's still a great figure. It, I'm not upset that I paid 20 bucks for this figure. I still like it, but it's just the one that I like that I like the least out of this wave. So that is number five. Number four is probably going to be this Jean Grey. Just because, again, simple looking figure. I love the face sculpt, though. That is a great, great Jean Grey face sculpt. That looks awesome. But uh, lack of hands, lack of accessories kind of kills this for me. Um, otherwise, it's just a basic looking Jean Grey figure. It looks fine. It's just lack of, when you when you lack hands, when you lack accessories, when you lack like blast effects, psychic effects, whatever she would have, you lack posing options as well. There's, there's not a whole lot you can just really do with this. Um, so I'm, I'm anxious to see how people are just kind of posing this in their uh, Age of Apocalypse collection. Again, Fantastic face sculpt. Love the face sculpt, but she is number four. Number three, surprisingly, is Wild Child. Uh, I do like this one. I like the head sculpt. I like the hair. The hair looks great. The paint looks very, very clean. This orange looks super, super clean. Makes me really excited for the upcoming Sabretooth, which has not been announced yet, but I know it's coming. I know they're going to make one. But I really like this wild child. It'll be cool to get him in just like a, a, a real like feral, like kind of crouching pose because he's got double jointed knees, double jointed elbows. So you can get him just like in a, in a real like, and he has like a really good head movement. So like, look at the head movement right there. So you can get him in just like a really squatted down kind of crouching animalistic pose. Um, but I like this one. Number three, number three. Here's the one that surprised me the most. My second favorite one of the five that I bought, Wolverine. Just really surprised by this. I went into this thinking, cool, I get another Wolverine. I uh, open this up and I'm like, this is a badass looking figure. And he does. Did I? If I said he did not have butterfly joints, he actually does. He actually does have butterfly joints, as you can see there. So... So you can do some, you can do the whole one of those poses um, and then he all the way back. So I like this figure even more now. I didn't even notice this. I didn't even notice the butterfly joints until I was ranking him just now. So this was to, mm, is he going to bump X-Man out of the number one spot? I think he might. <laughs> I think he is. So I, I uh, redact what I had just said. X-Man is now number two. And my favorite figure, surprisingly, in this entire wave so far, again, I don't have Dark Beast. I don't have Dark Beast. He's on pre-order at Big Bad. He has not hit my pile of loot yet. I'm, I'm sure Dark Beast will probably be my favorite figure just because I've seen so many pictures of it. Um, Sunfire, going to be up there. But for the five that I currently have, this Wolverine is my favorite figure in the Age of Apocalypse wave. Friggin' awesome. The head sculpt, the hair just looks... Let me see if I can... There's the head sculpt. The hair. The hair looks great. 
I really love that like 90s freaking flared out hair. The the big hair from Wolverine in the 90s. And then again, I did not even see it first when I first unboxed this thing. He had butterfly joints, but he does. And you can do some pretty badass poses. I mean, like, let's see if I can get this across his chest. I mean, he's doing right there. And that's not even fully flexed in right there um, on the butterfly joints. But there you go. That's my favorite figure in this wave. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, try and uh, put this Sugar Man together. This thing is a little complicated. He's got some suspenders. I did not know if that was his butt or his crotch. I had to turn it around and examine. That is his anus end. So uh, this is the face end. Should have just looked at the uh, pegs and the holes because this one has two. This one has three. Sugar ass crack. <laughs> Uh, who's on the who's on the back of the flying skate? That would be Quinn Hughes, potential rookie of the year, Quinn Hughes. Uh, so let me go ahead and start with this. Hopefully, you don't have to put these in a specific order. I don't assume so. It looks like everything just pegs in normally. So I'm going to put the face in first. All right. And yes, I did put it on the right way. So face and belt. I'm assuming no one buckles their belt on the back. So I got it on the right way there. But that face and that tongue, that's awesome. Very awesome. Did you see the announcement for the hockey playoffs? I did, Bobby. Yes, I did. I'm really excited for that. Um, opening kind of wild card round to determine the four teams that are going to play, the four teams with a bye. Really excited for it. Can't wait. But yes, I. Uh, that's why I wore the jersey. I haven't worn a hockey jersey in actually quite some time. Got just kind of bummed out that uh, there was no hockey, so I wasn't wearing my jerseys. But um, saw that announcement and uh, and put it on. So, all right. So let me. All right. So I took the suspenders off temporarily, just so I can get the back on because it's this torso or the head. The head and the torso is one basically one thing. So I just have to make sure that I do this right. All right. So there we go. There he is with no arms. And I got to put his legs on, but there's his, his little Humpty Dumpty torso right there. Freaking sweet. I got to put the uh, suspenders back on. Blair, I was actually about to put on a uh, Connor McDavid... Um, Oilers jersey, uh, but um, I realized that I had not worn this Canucks jersey very much, so I put this one on. Hunchback of Notre Dame, Knight of Ren says. Uh, let's see here. I scored a Black Series 40th uh, Empire Strikes Back Snow Speeder Luke on eBay today. Very nice. Um, I picked that one up. I found that one at retail, so I got lucky on that one. A lot of people are looking for that figure. Uh, let's see here. I feel you really want to know to watch and go to baseball games. I miss all sports. Honestly, I miss all sports. I started watching some, just some like replays of sports. I, I missed it so much, but, uh, yes, the thing nightmares are made of. Yes. This guy right here, the sugar man, this is going to look badass when he's complete. Let me throw his legs on, make sure I got his feet in the right direction. These freaking thigh pegs are real, real tight. All right. So there we go. There's one. This is the foot that I'm going to have to take a hairdryer to because I cannot flatten that foot. It's. Let me see if I can even articulate it more. That thing is frozen. So there is uh, one of his legs. And let me put the other leg in. Are you going to get the new Moon Knight? I tried. I tried, Gillian. I went to uh, the Walgreens uh, site when they first announced it. I tried to add it to my cart. It said you cannot add this item to your cart. I went back a little bit later. It was sold out. So I, so far, fingers crossed, knock on wood, I have had no problems finding any of the Walgreens exclusive Marvel Legends figures at an actual Walgreens. So um, as soon as those reports 
start coming in from like California of people finding them, I'll be on the lookout because I definitely want to get that Moon Knight. I think it looks great. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited for that. Uh, I believe it's because they don't have much reuse of parts. Also, they have more paint and details. Oh, whew. I just had to make sure I didn't break this sucker. I actually got his foot to articulate. So sometimes what you can do, so the foot was down in that position. Sometimes what you can do is activate like pivot. And I don't know what it is. Like you get certain pieces of plastic working against others and you have more leverage. So I, I always do this first before I, uh, you know, hair dry it or put, put hot water on it. But I, I turn it, articulate the pivot, and then just kind of try and work it that way. Um, don't try and move it right here, obviously. Work it as close to the joint as you can, uh, and you're not going to break it. So that's what I did, and I was able to articulate the foot. So there we go, unfrozen. Um, I know a lot of this is common sense for a lot of you guys. You guys are, you know, big time collectors of Marvel Legends. You know how to articulate frozen joints and stuff. But um, for those of you that are new to collecting Marvel Legends, there's some advice for you. Sugar Man, crazy character, Night of Ren. So here we go. I have uh, two arms here. Uh, one is a left arm, one is a right arm. But he has four arm joints. So I have to figure out which one's upper or lower these arm joints go with. And these came with X-Man. So two, they are the upper arm joints. So the lower arm joints come with Sunfire. And then Dark Beast comes with the hammer. So upper, upper. So they go up here. And I got it on the right side. So there's one arm. Fix the suspenders. Got to tuck in the suspenders. Because that, that joint right there, that arm, is very, very close to where the suspenders go. So it's cool because, like, it's so... What was that? Something just fell in that case. Can't even tell what accessory. Oh, it's the Green Ranger's helmet. I don't know if you guys heard that through the audio, but the Green Ranger's helmet just fell out of his arm and fell down a couple uh, things in my detolf. Anyway, as I was saying, but yeah, there is enough room to, to tuck the suspender strap in under the armpit there and uh there's still a lot of movement in the arm as you can see so since he's got ghosts <laughs> uh let's see here run sugar man's foot under hot water to articulate frozen joints i usually do that wolfbane but in this case i uh i just had to uh kind of activate that ankle pivot and it was able to move without me having to do that let's see all right, so other arms going in up top. Thank you for everyone that's in here, by the way. Uh, hopefully you had a great day. Uh, it is Tuesday, not Monday. I woke up this morning thinking it was Monday, but hopefully you had a good Tuesday. I've calmed down now. I started this off with a major rant about car dealerships that don't negotiate price. I've calmed down now. I'm still waiting for an email. I'm assuming, I'm assuming they're going to come back to me and say, hey, sorry we didn't get you. Uh, that deal, would this work for you? Hopefully that's the game that they're playing. If not, I'll be extremely surprised. But uh, I'm keeping an eye on the email because I do like the car. But there you go, guys. How about that? That looks awesome. That is very cool. Look at how thick he is. It's a freaking evil Humpty Dumpty right there. That is badass. And there's that freaking wild ass tongue. It looks like a venom tongue with like the bend. It's literally like right angles right there. That's so cool. This is badass. So this is such a cool build a figure. All right. I'm going to stop gushing about this build a figure. This is just a really cool build a figure though. Um, he's such a like a wildly like just obscure character, but he's so cool looking. That's such a, just a cool looking figure. So, once again, 
there you go, guys. Um, the Stanley figure, absolutely fantastic. Get this figure. It's got an amazing, amazing face sculpt right there. Uh, Mark44 Prime says, looks like McFarlane's clown character. I do get some vibes, some clown vibes from that. Uh, Kyle, Slapshot Toys, if you're in here, do you get vibes as well? The clown? He's a, he's a big Spawn fan, so. Um, but again, I like the wave. It could have had more accessories. This is my favorite figure in the wave so far, Wolverine. Next is X-Man. After that's uh, Wild Child. After that's Gene. After that's Morph. Uh, but let's go ahead and look at the chat here real quick. Oh, I got to show you one thing, guys. So if you watched, I don't remember. I think it might have been my last stream. First of all, I took the straps out. So it just it has more clean display look to it. Um, it came with like a head strap and a chin strap, but I took them out. They just, they easily go in through these like little loops in here, as you can see. So if I wanted to put them back in there, I can. I can. But um one of the cool things about this, so it does light up. Let's see if I can actually show you the light there. It lights up. But let me do something here real quick. And I'm going to try and play something that is not a copyright song. If I have, if I have anything like that. Uh, let's see. Oh, you know what? Maybe I can link it. Let me try one thing here. I'm going to do something that I absolutely hate doing. It's going to be a little quiet right now, but I'm going to try and just, because I know I have the song on my computer. So let me do this. And it's not showing up in the... Oh, because it's already tied to my phone. All right, so let's just do it from here. Let's see if I can find a song that is not going to get me in trouble. Uh, how's everyone doing today, by the way? Who freaking downloaded Miranda Lambert songs on my phone? <laughs> I did. Must have been Miss Cincy, because I did not download Miranda Lambert songs. Um, all of these copyright songs, man. They literally all are. Let's see if I could do something here. Songs and. Just go with the no name. All right, let's see if any of these are. This is not going to work. These are all copywritten songs. I was trying to play the music that I use for the intros of my videos, but let me try one more thing. Sorry about the quietness. Hey, the Foosh. The Foosh is in here. What's up, man? What's up, Robo? How's it going? I'm trying to uh, show the uh, play features of this Marvel Legends Star-Lord helmet because it doubles as a Bluetooth speaker. I was not aware of that. I just knew that it lit up the eyes. It barely fit my bulbous head. Waiting for dinner and I saw you on. Thanks, man. Thanks for joining. I'm uh, trying to kill the Bluetooth connection on my phone so that I can link it to my computer so I can actually play it, disconnect. All right, so did you hear that sound? It actually makes a sound when you disconnect the Bluetooth there. So let me see if it shows up on this list now. Uh, let's see. Um, don't lie about that Miranda Lambert crush you got, Big Money Collector says. Um, I'm doing good, how about you, Cincy? David, I'm doing great. I just opened up some uh, Marvel Legends figures. I got the uh, Age of Apocalypse wave. Everything but two figures. I opened up this amazing, amazing Stan Lee figure. One of the best face sculpts I've seen in a long time. Uh, but I'm doing great. I would be... There it is. Star-Lord helmet. So let me connect to that. I'd be doing even better if this car dealership would get back to me and tell me that they're willing to work with me on the price of the car we're trying to get. All right, so we're linked up to the computer now. So now let me find the freaking song. 
Uh, let's see. The food at the food. You are like old Saturday morning cartoons. Every Saturday, your video pops up, and I sit back and enjoy. Uh, really like to really like both to go and did it just disconnect. Okay, it's connected again. The frick is wrong with this thing. I want to play some Miranda Lambert music just to be funny right now, but I'm not going to. Uh, so let me put this on royalty free. And what is the name of my freaking entrance <laughs> or my, uh, uh, is it this song? Nope. That's not it. I use this, uh, for like hunt videos and stuff. Let me see. Is it this song? Nope. That's the same song. Is it this song? No. Nope. Is it this one? That is my entrance music. And entrance music, like I'm a wrestler. I own the life, the the life for this, the rights for this. So, I will not get, I will not get a copyright claim on this one. I bought the rights to this one. But that's pretty badass right there. It puts out pretty good sound. The the uh, music comes from the front. The speaker is actually on the inside here, and you can see. Hold on. When you're looking through those eye holes, it's like a red light. So, pretty awesome. There you go. That's all I wanted to show you about this thing. <laughs> but it's really cool because I originally thought it was just a cool display piece. It was gonna put it on. Trumanium says it will get stuck on my head. My ears are still red. From uh, when I tried to put it on and it got stuck on my my head, so I'm not gonna put it on because I'll embarrassingly have to uh, try and pry it off my big ass head. But yeah, that, now you know. Uh, this was on sale. I think it was GameStop had it on sale for like half price. It was like fifty bucks. Uh, so um, definitely, definitely worth it as a display piece, as a a prop replica, and a functional one at that. Um, it lights up. It's cool. And I played uh, "Come and Get Your Love" uh, when I showed Mrs. Cincy because she didn't she didn't know it did that either. And I I I played that and she thought it was pretty cool. So, um, who would be your dream wrestling? Who would be who would your dream wrestling match be with Cincy? Uh, Bear Clement said, "Oh man, um, my dream wrestling match. Um, I think it would be cool as hell to get chopped by Ric Flair." I think it would be cool to take a, a double super kick from the Young Bucks. That would be pretty awesome. Uh, I would. Uh, I think it'd be badass to take a choke slam from the Undertaker. So I don't really have like a. Uh, I'm pale because of the lights. I have natural lights coming in right now. I'm not dying or anything. Um, so Wicked Hunter, yeah, I'm okay. But uh, I don't really have like if I was if I was a wrestler, I don't really have like a dream match. I would just want certain things. Um, like like super kicks and chops and choke slams from certain wrestlers. It would be cool. It would probably be painful as hell, but it would be cool to take an Olympic slam from Kurt Angle. Do you have any Transformers movie masterpiece figures? Uh, movie master. So masterpiece from no. I used to have the Optimus Prime and the Bumblebee. I don't have those anymore. I just have regular masterpiece. MP10. I got the M masterpiece Megatron. I got the masterpiece Soundwave. Um, Masterpiece Bumblebee, and I got a bunch of third-party Masterpiece scale figures. BJ Bonstel's here. Did you get that package from your P.O. box yet? Which one, BJ? I got the one that had the packaging for the, uh, the Skiff and Jabba's Palace, but I didn't get anything after that. So, And I got the one with the, uh, the present you sent with uh, the Captain America thing with the cards, which is awesome. And I'm still trying to figure out which cards I want to display in those. Josh Penn said, I pay to get a chop from Flair and probably a Hollywood leg drop from Hulk Hogan. Hogan. That would be awesome. You can actually, um, if you see Sergeant Slaughter at a show, if you if you get one of his autographs, not only will he autograph it, but he he actually drew a little picture of his face, like a little... A little um, a picture of his face on the figure, which was cool. 
And you can actually get your picture with him, and he'll put you in the Cobra Clutch, which is awesome. So got to get a Stinger Splash. <laughs> that would be very, very cool as well. Um, this is one that would probably be very, very painful, but I would like to get 3 would through a table by Bubba Ray and Devon. That would be so friggin' epic. Or, or like getting the top or the top rope power uh, bomb through a table, like uh, Bubba did to Mae Young. Jackknife from Big Sexy, a Stone Cold Stunner. I would sell the crap out of a Stone Cold Stunner too. Not all animated like uh, The Rock did, where he basically did a somersault, but um, I would definitely sell a Stone Cold Stunner. Uh, you know, Hacksaw is at a show when people have short little two by fours. You always know Hacksaw. Oh, yeah, when they're getting the two by fours uh, signed. That's a good idea. I never thought about that. That would be a great thing to get signed by Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Star Lord helmet just turned off, apparently. The People's Elbow. I actually go with the People's Elbow. Uh, Undertaker's Choke Slam classic. Uh, let's see here. So guys, um, how long have we been live? Hour and 10? I still got some time left. I'm waiting for dinner to get here. Um, I am I think I'm getting Subway tonight. Robo, what you waiting for dinner-wise? Bionic Elbow from the Macho Man RIP. No one wants an RKO out of nowhere. Um, didn't he, uh, for fun, I, I, I think I saw on Instagram, uh, Randy Orton RKO'd either his wife or one of his kids in their pool. And it was pretty funny. I would love to get a 619 from Rey Mysterio or Frog Slammed by Eddie, throwing it back a little. <laughs> uh, let's see here. So uh, that's all I had as far as Marvel Legends go. Uh, I'm going to show the Sugar Man one more time because I think it's such a great looking Build-A-Figure. <clears throat> Very thick. Very crazy looking, big old mouth, big old crooked tongue, awesome paint. It's a great, great build of figure, I gotta say. Uh, let's see here. Josh Prince said, pay oh, he said that. I said that too. Laugh my ass off. Stone Cold, Stone Cold Stunner. Did the comments jump up on me? That's always a first. Since he wins the Star Wars Hall drop, I have to film that. Uh, probably tonight or tomorrow night, and then that'll go up next. That is the next video I plan on doing. Um, I had to make sure one of the items that I got, it's the second largest item physically, second largest item I got in this haul, but I thought it might have had an issue with it, like a defect, and I figured it out. So now I don't have to return it or exchange it, so uh, now I can go ahead and film it, but that'll go up soon. But again, if you have missed uh, my previous videos, I'm doing uh, the largest Star Wars haul I've ever done. Um, and it features the largest, the physically largest Star Wars item I've ever purchased and the physically smallest Star Wars item I've ever purchased. So I'm really, really excited for it. I'm really happy with it. The largest item that I've ever purchased, I walk by it every morning and I'm just like, I stare at it all the time. You know that you've got like... A centerpiece like that. I have a sideshow Luke on Tauntaun, and out of all the stuff that I buy, that one always catches my attention. I always look at it. I just stare at it and appreciate it because I think it looks so cool. And this big ass thing <laughs> that I purchased that'll be on this haul, I stare at it. Um, it's it's one of those things that you just stare at and you just take it all in. You're like. That is so damn cool. So you guys can um, look forward to that. Josh Penn says, spoiler chat, it's a life-size Han and Carbonite. If I had $8,000, I would actually go for that. That thing looks amazing. Uh, holy frick. Wicked Hunter just dropped a, a super chat. It says, you are amazing. Wicked Hunter, you're amazing for doing that. Thank you so much. Uh, $20. That's uh, awesome. I appreciate that. Uh, he looks like he's out of a horror film. Merlin, this guy right here, Sugar Man, he does. He definitely looks like a horror film character. Um, Matt Cardona has two Han and Carbonites. Why would you need two? <laughs> That's what I'm wondering. <laughs> I think I've seen one of them in his uh, collection tour, but why, would he, why does he need two? 
but that's awesome. I, there was one at uh, the toy department that I always admire. They have one there. Uh, did you ever see the Star Wars Black Return of the Jedi Knight? Uh, Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker in any of your Walmarts? I did. And if you want to see that real quick, I'll show that one to you. I actually, um, shit, I just stepped on something. Sorry for the S bomb there. I just stepped on, oh, I just, uh, what was I saying? I, uh, so I got this one right here. This is what you're asking about. And I think I saw it one time in a store, just one time, but it was after I had already scored it. The way that I scored this is I heard that was going up on walmart.com and I bought it on walmart.com and I did a site to store. So I just had it sent to my local Walmart. Um, but that Walmart later on also got, I think they had maybe two on the pegs. But um, yeah, I've got it. And it looks amazing. It's a great looking figure. If I can focus it. It looks awesome. It's a very cool figure. And I'm actually looking forward to, uh, they're doing a three and three quarter inch version of this one as well. And I'm going to put that one on my skiff. So that one's actually not due to ship until like November or December. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Knight of Ren says, uh, at the foosh, thoughts on the Black Series Snowspeeder Luke? Have you got it yet? Um, I like that figure a lot. I think it's a really cool looking figure. Uh, and it... What did it have? Did it have butterfly joints? Let me grab it real quick. I'm trying not to step on this crap now. I stepped on one of the clamshells for one of the figures I just opened. Yes! Okay, so here is the Snowspeeder Luke. And uh, I was very, very surprised because it's hard to tell from the, um, from the pictures and from... Look at that. From the packaging, he has butterfly joints. So he can hold the lightsaber easily with both hands, as you see there. See the butterfly joints in the back? That's an awesome, awesome figure. So butterfly joints, they, they get me every time. I mean, this was <laughs> this was my second favorite figure that I opened from the Age of Apocalypse Wave, and then I realized that it had butterfly joints and it made it the number one figure because, yeah, articulation. I mean, that's always a great thing. So Red 5 Helmet looks fantastic on that figure too. Does he kick his own butt? He does not. He's got single jointed knees. Um, so, yeah, that's as, that's as far as he can bend his knee right there. But I actually want to try and pick up a second one of these because I, I like this figure so much that I want to have it displayed just by itself. And then I actually have on pre-order the Snowspeeder, the Black Series Snowspeeder. I still have to find a place for that thing. That thing is huge. It's going to be huge. Um, so I'm not sure where the hell I'm going to display it. But um, obviously I want one of these to sit inside the cockpit with Dak. Good old Dak Raltar. We got turned into a pancake by an ad at foot. Uh, but I definitely want Luke and Dak in the uh, the cockpit of the Snowspeeder. Since you check your white balance on camera, Nuno Perry says, I don't think I can adjust it because this is actually a uh, webcam. It's a Logitech streaming cam. So I don't think it has all of the, the settings that a typical camera would have. Um, Unless you're talking about uh, like a recent video that I did where my white balance was off. Right now, I have my blinds open. It's still daylight here. Uh, so that's why I'm so washed out. Let me do this. Because you guys are making me self-conscious right now. <laughs> there we go. Hopefully that helps with the... Uh, there. I don't look as washed out. Is that better? Now I just look blue for my freaking screen. So... um. I'm going to show you one more thing here since we're on Star Wars. Since you're getting the snow speeder, I'm a sucker for Black Series vehicles. In Sangoon, I, yes, I am. I am indeed. I also have another Black Series snow speeder Luke on pre order through Amazon. Again, the sunsets fast in Texas. Uh, Sunfire is nothing but translucent goodness. Then I will love it because I freaking love translucent plastic. 
Um, I went and uh, used Mrs. Cincy's car the other day. You know what? I need more light in here because now I look too damn dark. And I freaking took all my lamps out. So that's awesome. Uh, okay. I guess we don't need more light. Why didn't you get the Black Series tie? I actually had it. And I ran out of room. So I ended up selling it. Um, okay. I took uh, Mrs. Cincy's car the other day. And I sat down. And on the passenger seat was this book. So I was like... What the frick is that? Is that for me? So I went inside. I'm like, uh, is this for me? And she goes, shit, that was supposed to be for Father's Day. So yeah, she got me this, she got me this book, Star Wars Droidography. And uh, one of the things that was in here, so it's basically, it shows, it's, I mean, like, it's a different kind of book. That's a freaking pop-up right there. <laughs> so it's like a three-dimensional R2-D2. But it's, it's got, like, information on all of the, the droids, uh, including, like, C-3PO. Like, it's got stuff like this. Let me show you. So she just thought it was really cool. She thought that I would like it, and I do. So it's got C-3PO, and then you lift it up, and it's got him in his uh, Episode One Phantom Menace look. But one of the things that I thought was so friggin' awesome in here, and also, so it's got Assassin Droids, Bounty Hunters, IG-88, Zuckus Forlom. Um, but this is what I thought was so damn cool. And this is... The whole book is really awesome. But this is what I thought was really cool. It is a freaking wanted poster of Han Solo. That is so freaking cool. Dead, alive, or frozen. If you could see that. Han Solo. 224,000 credits is the price on his head. Delivered to Jabba the Hutt on Tatooine for payment. <laughs> how, how awesome is that? That's so cool. I would like to buy like a big ass poster of that. Uh, of a wanted poster for, for Han Solo. Just like that with the credits and all that stuff. I just think that's so awesome. But um, I mean it's got like battle droids. It's got the droidica. It's got the magna droids. It's got that uh, freaking that dude. What's his name? I don't know. He was a Clone Wars figure. Since he, before you buy the Snowspeeder from Black Series, check the one from John Walker Customs. I've never heard of that, but I'll look it up. I didn't know Zuckus. I, I meant Forlom. I always screw those names up because of the 80s. And they screw up those, they screwed up the uh, names of those characters. Um, this is just so cool. What is this? Oh, that's so awesome. All right, so I'm just a sucker for stuff that, like, for stuff like this. And Mrs. Cincy knows it. That's why she got this for me. So see this? Those are Stormtrooper feet, and look at this. Ah! <laughs> that's so freaking cool. It's a mouse droid. Oh, I love it. I love it. I literally am a child. I'm a, I'm a man child, and stuff like this, pop-up books and little slidey things. Just interest the crap out of me. There's Chopper. C1 10P. BB 8's in here. BB 9E is in here. This is so cool. But I wanted to share this because it's a damn cool book. She said she got it on clearance at Walmart for like $5. It's normally a $25 book. But uh, yeah, she got it on uh, clearance. Um,. What else do you guys want to talk about? The ATST, you can find him in Instagram. Cincy, what's your favorite Black Series figure of all time? Insane Goon asked me, what's your favorite um, Black Series figure of all time? And that would probably be... That's a tough one. Um... Not a cop-out, but I really like this figure, even though we talked about it. I am a big, big fan of the Mace Windu figure. I, I just think that's a great likeness. Uh, it's got great articulation. Uh, I'm looking at my Black Series figures right now. I really like the Mace Windu, though, and I like this figure. This is an awesome Luke. This is the perfect Luke. Commander Rex is mine, and Sangoon says... What's the model of camera behind you? That is a JVC. I don't even freaking know. 
it is a I don't know. I'll have to get back to you on that. I bought it a couple of years ago from uh uh what is it? Uh B and B and T. I forgot the, the name of the uh the place that's in New York City. Um I buy all my camera stuff from there. I'm not sure. I should know. Um I'll have to look that up. Dooku is pretty awesome. I don't have Dooku yet. I'm still looking for uh, Count Dooku. Uh, Hoth there you go. That's a good one. I forgot about that one. Hoth Rebel Trooper. That's an excellent figure. That's the first figure that has swappable faces. And I hope that all the army builders that go forward, I hope they do an Endor Trooper. And I hope that that also has swappable faces. I hope that they have the swappable face of um, Captain Rex. Um because they retconned it and said that the guy with the white beard in Return of the Jedi is Captain Rex. So, yeah, I hope that they do swappable faces with an Endor trooper. That would be amazing. Um, what other troopers could we get? They've already done the uh, Rebel trooper from New Hope. They've done Hoth trooper. We need Endor trooper. Make them all swappable between the different troops. Troopers. Hell yes. That would be an excellent idea. Bespin guards. We need Bespin guards. Absolutely. We need cloud car pilots. Um, we're probably not going to get a cloud car in that scale, though. Um, what are some other army builders? They wouldn't do swappable faces for any of the Imperial guys because you don't see their faces. Uh, Cerrone Games says, where's my Asajj Ventress? That's a figure that we would... Let's talk about figures that we haven't seen yet, Star Wars related. Uh, that we would, And, and uh, let's try and talk about figures that they haven't already solicited. Because, like, I want some Episode 2, Attack of the Clones stuff, but they've already solicited Anakin and Obi-Wan. Um, I would love a Black Series Droidica, the Destroyer droid. I think that would look amazing. Um, Asajj is a good one. Um... Is Phasma a figure yet? They've done Phasma a couple times. Kia D. Mundi, absolutely. A lot, we need a lot of Jedis. They've solicited Kit Fisto. They've solicited Plo Koon. Um, what are some other big Jedis that we haven't seen yet? <clears throat> In Sangoon, yes, we do. In Sangoon says we need a damn Lobot. I'm surprised we haven't seen a Lobot yet. We absolutely need a Lobot. We just got a really cool new uh, Lando with a great face. We need a Lobot. We need Ice Cream Guy. I would buy an Ice Cream Guy figure. They made one in three and three quarter inch, and that thing is worth a lot of money now. Um, get, get into those like C and D list characters. Savage Oppress, hell yes. That would be an amazing. Any of the Clone Wars figures, but they need to go with the Clone Wars likeness. I don't want them to try and make them look like movie likenesses because um, I want to see the mall with the, the uh, Android legs. I want to see a spider mall. If they did a $50 spider mall figure when they first found mall and he had the big spider feet, I mean, I would definitely fork over 50 bucks for a really well done articulated spider mall. Um, Cause they, they haven't done a whole lot of clone Wars stuff at all. Did they do a Bib Fortuna? No, we need a Bib Fortuna. They've done a Gamorrean Guard. They've done, um, let's talk Jedi, Return of the Jedi. Uh, most of the main characters they've done. We haven't gotten any Skiff Guards, I don't believe. We got Lando in the Skiff disguise. Um, Yak Face would be cool. Jar Jar? I mean, he was kind of a main character in Episode 1. As much as you'd like to hate Jar Jar... Uh, we are getting Ewoks. Deluxe Anakin with Pod Racer for anniversary of episode one. Zarkoon as a Xarkoon. Sorry, I didn't pronounce that correctly. Blue Snaggletooth. I mean, you could go with a lot of the Cantina guys. You could go with any of the Rogue One because the Rogue One Jin is terribly done. The Rogue One Cassian not very good. They did they do a. Um, yeah, they did the, uh, I can't remember their names right now, the Wills, Protectors of the Wills. Um, I forgot their names. 
Someone please help me with this brain fart I'm having. Ula the Dancing Girl with Rancor that ate her. I'd love a pod racer. Hammerhead. Isla Secura to go with Bly, yes. Any of those uh, characters that you saw in that very dramatic scene, Order 66, um, any of the Jedi that were killed off? Because we're getting Plo Koon, we, uh, Ki Adi Mundi, we need Ayla Sakura, we need. What other Jedis did we see killed? Baze and Shira, thank you very much. Baze Melbus and uh, Shira Dimwe. Damn it. Freaking brain farts. Dexter Jetster. Uh, it would be a cool looking figure. He was kind of a side character. Did you did you buy the Emperor and Royal Guards from Figure Arts? I did not. And there's a reason for that. And you'll find out in my Star Wars video. Um, Yaddle, dead younglings. <laughs> Terrible. Shock T, we need a Shock T. She had a presence on the Clone Wars cartoon. Um so yeah, we, I would go for a shock T. Newt Gunray, yeah, I think a Newt and a uh, what was his uh, what was the other guy's name from Episode One that was with Newt Gunray that because um, I can't remember the other guy's name. Someone let me know. We need a Bodhi Rook. What the f Hasbro? I can only assume that's because of likeness rights. I, I can only assume that they didn't get um, his likeness rights. Because he was a pretty major character in Rogue One. Revenge of the Sith Palpatine. Yes, we definitely need that. They need to reissue the Amazon exclusive Palpatine in Throne. Because um, that thing is sold out and it's hard to get now and the price is going up. Uh, Malakili to go with the Rancor. Cad Bane. We definitely need a Cad Bane. Uh, Aura Singh. We need an Aura Singh. John Ratzenberg, Hothschuber, Spider Mall. They did a three and three quarter inch Bodhi. They did it for the uh, uh, five points of articulation line, didn't they? Saw Guerrera. Yes, that would be cool. The Bad Batch. Hell yes. I started watching the newest. I'm I'm only like two or three episodes in on the new Clone War season. It's not even new anymore. I'm so far behind on that. But uh, the Bad Batch. Yes, definitely. All of those guys. Embo, Embo was cool. Um, I recently rewatched the episode where Embo was skiing on his uh, big ass hat. <laughs> um, young Boba Fett, all the kid Jedi's in training that Anakin killed. Rise of Skywalker Palpatine, yes, Rise of Skywalker Palpatine, that would be cool. Um, let's see here, Chancellor Valorum. Before you watch the last episode, rewatch Revenge of the Sith. I still have like six episodes to go before I get to that. Quinlan Voss to go with Asajj Ventress. Sarlacc playset. Bad Batch will be a Comic-Con exclusive, mark my words. It's going to be hard as hell to get. A lot of people are going to want it. It's going to sell out. It's going to go up in price then. George Lucas, since they did... Yes! A George Lucas figure. Hell yes. That would be amazing. That would be absolutely amazing. And he should look like he did when he was filming A New Hope. So total like late 70s George Lucas. Uh, Pregnant Padme, Amanda Man, Night Sisters, um, Yariel Poof. Wasn't that a uh, Jedi? <laughs> I, I recognize the, uh, the name. Irving Kirshner figure. Captain Sweet Spot. <laughs> I would love a George Lucas figure. Because uh, I'm a big fan. I started, I thought about collecting some of the, the Funko Pops of directors because I'm a big movie buff. I'm a big movie fan and I like certain directors and I just want like merchandise of directors. So that would be cool to get a George Lucas figure though. And it's perfect for Black Series. They already did a George Lucas Stormtrooper figure in three, three, three and three quarter. Um, how many times did they do a Lucas figure? Once or twice? So six inch Lucas figure, let's do it. Make it an exclusive. That'd be amazing. 212th Airborne Clone Trooper. Um, definitely need more 212th. They definitely need to redo Cody because Cody's a hard freaking figure to find. 
Uh, McQuarrie concept seven inch black series figures. That would be very, very cool. I just don't know how deep they're going to go with black series. It seems like they've gone, they've, they've done almost all of the main characters so much so that they're going back and like redoing them. They're redoing the faces and stuff. <clears throat> Wasn't Bill Burr in an episode of Mandalorian? I would get that figure. I want that whole mercenary group. The Bill Burr figure, the girl with the knives, the big, strong, Clancy Brown character that picked uh, Mandalorian up and sort of crushing him. I want that whole group from that episode. I love that episode. That's one of my favorite episodes of The Mandalorian. Mayfield, Mayfeld. Um, and then the guy that uh, was kind of in charge of that whole group, he was from Sons of Anarchy. They could do a figure of that. The guy with the big long beard. Uh, another vote for Savage Oppress. Shmi Skywalker. We have three weeks maybe until they reveal <clears throat> uh, X San Diego Comic Con exclusives. I just hope they're easy to get. Everyone's going to be gunning for them. I just hope that they produced enough and that they limit people to one per so that everyone that wants a Comic Con exclusive by Hasbro can, can get one. Because you know we're going to get some good ones. Death Watch Mandalorians, we definitely need those because those have been on Clone Wars and the Mandalorian TV show now. Anything that they show in more than one series, I, I feel like we definitely need a figure of. Jedi Temple Guards. Pong Krell. Yes! I love that character from Clone Wars. The um, the traitor Jedi. The six-armed dude. That, the guy that was the same species as Dexter Jetster. Pong Krell. He was a badass. We definitely need to figure that. We didn't. We never got a three and three quarter inch or a six inch figure of that. It's not. My dinner's here, guys. Subway's here. That was Mrs. Cincy. So I have to abruptly cut this short. It's time for dinner. Thanks for joining, guys. 166 people. I got to end this. Um, watch the replay. You guys are the best. You guys are still rattling off characters we need in six inch. But my tuna sub is here. I'm starving. Thanks for joining, guys. But we'll do this again very soon. But as of right now, check out this replay if you're coming in late. Check out the uh, other videos that went up. The G.I. Joe video, if, even if you're not in the G.I. Joes, there was some funny stuff on that video. So check that one out. Uh, but I'll see you guys soon. I appreciate it. Peace. Why did she leave again? The door just shut. Anyway, I got to go see what's up. <laughs> Adios, guys.